15 minutes of fame. Okay, okay. Frozenberg. You already know what it is, man. Salute a <laughs> nigga before I shoot it, nigga, man. I'm back live in the flesh. Feel good to be uh, out here rumbling and putting the gloves on and, you know, getting hit, hitting back and doing it at a high level, man. It feel good. Love the Phenom. Yeah. You just got finished battling him. Crack Liberty out here in Philly. Yeah. Uh, it, it sounded a little personal. You know, a lot of people don't know we came in the game together. You know what I mean? Back before I got on URL, me, him, Bill Collector, Tom Bomb, we was the four rappers from PA that came in the game together. And, you know, we're not as close as we used to be because it's been five, six years since that happened. So now, you know, me and Bill, even Tom Bomb, but not as much, is a little way more relevant than he is in the battle world. But he came in with us. So it's like he's still been there the whole way. So if you're not, I mean, a lot of local people know him and some people in the tri state know him. But, you know, if you followed me my whole career back when I really started, you would know who Dub the Phenom is. And that's why we got a lot of history. That's why it was so personal. And, and at the end, y'all shook hands. That's like, no bad it's, blood. It's good to see that's that. no bad blood. It was just competitiveness. I think at the end of the day, he's at a point where he don't care who is his friend and who is not. He, if you battle and you in his way, he want to battle you. And I, I, I respect that at the end of the day. If that's what he want to do, and I, you know, they want to take care of me on the business side, I'll battle him too. So that's what it was. But it's nothing, like, personal. But y'all ain't going to hang out drinking smoke no more. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, we will. <laughs> but, like, you know, we, we'll link up again. We, we, I've known him for 12 years. You know what I mean? And I'm only 24 years old. I was in wow. sixth grade, fifth grade when I met him. And I battled him. And he was 20. And, um, you know, he was always like like, like like an older cousin to me. You know what I mean? He helped me before I got on. He helped me shape into the rapper that I am today. So he's like a brother, man. It's, it's no bad, nothing bad to say about that. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Uh, it, was it battle rap that actually made y'all this long friendship? Well, was it battle rap? how it happened was uh, back when I was 12, I was rapping, battling everybody. And that's when two raw for the streets, Reed Dollars, Murder Mook, and all them were like young. They were in their prom. And um, he was popping around where I was from. He was messing with a he was messing with a girl up from around the way that I'm related to. She like a distant cousin, and uh, so we and knew. Said that so we knew. We, yeah. So we knew mutual people who thought he was dope, who thought I was hot. So we just ended up battling. This was before the cameras. We battled for eight rounds uh, next to the ice cream man truck across the street from Willow Grove Mall. You from PA, you know where that's at. And uh, we had a great battle. It wasn't on camera. We always argued about it. And then after that, we became friends to the point where we started to kind of grow up together. You know what I mean? And we started hanging together. We started battling other people together. So, um, you know, it goes back all the way, you know, to, to 2005, 2006, man. And, you know, we, we we, 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 we kind of came close through rap. That's how we got cool, and that's how we became friends outside of rap was through music. So, yeah, that's kind of how it happened. Uh, yeah, because I asked this man because I see a lot of relationships in battle rap. Like people. Yeah, this was this was so before long. battle rap. Like, yeah, it's yeah. through battle rap, but way, way before battle rap. You know what I mean? So, you already know. What's yeah. up, boy? Now, uh, what's, what's up with you? As far as like, you're still like your name still rings bells. Absolutely. But it's like you're not in a position anywhere. You still float around. You know, you know why? I, mean? I think because I just told I just told another another blogger the same thing. I'm not uh, a blogger. No, well, excuse me, excuse I'm me. With you. Uh, we do uh, interviews. Yeah, no different. doubt, no doubt. Well, but I was talking to another blogger. Right. Not to say you're a blogger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I was talking to Heavy Bags, who was a close friend of me. Mm -hmm. And I don't even consider him a blogger, so let me correct myself. Right, he ain't no blogger. You don't got to cut that right. no more. Um, <laughs> keep that shit raw. Excuse me. But I was talking to my friend Heavy Bags, and I told him, uh, yeah. I don't cling to no leagues. Right. I don't cling to any leagues anymore. And I think for a while, that's what I was doing. I mean, it was the URL League, and then it was the RBE League, and I always had some some type of brand to back me and now I'm just a freelancer. I do what I want. I battle where I want. I'm going to different countries, going to different states, going across the country. So, you know, I think, you know, and I haven't been on battle rap hard. Before when I was young, I felt like I needed to do it. You know what I mean? It was like, it was crazy to get paid for it. It was like, damn, I'm getting paid to actually rap. I've been rapping for so long. Now I don't need the money anymore. So it's not important to me financially. Just, even though I still want to be paid, 
it's not important to me financially. It's not a job anymore. Now it's more like a hobby for me. You know what I mean? And but but I do feel the best I've ever felt as an MC, far as where I'm at mentally. I know the game. I know what it takes. I know what you need to do on what stage and how you need to approach certain type of situations. Before I was young and immature, I didn't know that. So you know, at the end of the day, man, my position is just being Rosenberg. I got one of the hottest lines that was ever said in battle rap, and it's a memorable one. See what they do for views and nobody everybody knows what that is you know what i mean so if you know battle rap you know what that is so i made my stamps in a bunch of different ways man you know i was the first pg rapper they ever fucking chose to do the pg so you know I, i'm to be respected you know what i mean but everybody is entitled to their own opinion man so you know battle rap is one of the most weird it's one of the weirdest businesses you can be involved in the way it works is so fucking crazy. How unloyal the fans are. I mean, you know, not everybody, but a lot of them. It's just, it's a lot of shit that comes into battle rap. And if you're not built for that shit, you can't be a star in it. You know what I mean? And I've been a star several different times. So I'm battle tested, man. So at the end of the day, I don't think I need a position in battle rap. You need a position in battle rap when you're comfortable within yourself by being just a battle rapper. You know what I mean? So, so you're not looking for the title. I'm the best. Well, in the world. you know what's funny? I want. It, no, that's not important to me. You know what I mean? I, niggas fuck with me and, and people don't. And that's just with any battle rapper. Uh, I know I went up to King of the Dot three weeks ago and I battled Reverse Live. And it was my first time in California. I've been on King of the Dot twice, but that was my first time on their Cali branch. Um, and I had a good performance. It was on pay-per-view. And my cousin, Cash Capone, who's an up-and-coming battle rapper, check him out. Um, he told me, he was like, man, you should go for the chain. And I laughed at him because... That shit's not important to me. You know what I mean? Like going for the king of the jo chain is not on my list of things to do. But when he said it and we actually talked about it, he had a good point. Like, even if you don't get it, but like think about how crazy it would be to say Rosenberg Raw is the king of the dot champion. So I thought about it and we was flirting around with that shit for a little bit. So I know I'm gonna continue to fuck with King of the Dot and as long as I do my thing, you know, I might make that one of my list of things to do, man. Let me go get the title match or something like that. You know, nobody expects to see something like that happen. So, you know, that might be something I might try to do to spice things up a bit. You know what I mean? Go for the chain or something. But I'm a freelancer, man. I go where I want, I battle where I want, and I fuck with anybody who fuck with me, and it's that simple. You know what I'm saying? What's up, yeah. Yeah. So you know, man. I'm just I'm Frozenberg, man. I don't I'm not a I'm not a trend follower. You know what I mean? I'm myself. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, you gotta be built for this business, man. And, and I plan on making a little push, man, and getting some battles that make sense for me. So. You know. My oh, man, nothing, nothing else lined up right now, though? Uh, like I was telling all people, we try and get this head ice shit sorted out. That's supposed mm. to go down mm. as far as, you know what I mean? But, you know, we'll see how that work out. If it don't, um, we'll see where it falls. I mean, that's the thing. I'm not around chasing checks anymore. So, you know, if it's a good battle, it makes sense. And also, you know, I'm a little older now, so I'd be interested. Like, I got a battle in Minnesota out in April. I'm pretty sure I got a battle in Minnesota on the league out there. And I've never you know, cared about going to Minnesota, but now I'm older, I've been a lot of places. Now my mind thinks like, damn, what places have I haven't went to? So Minnesota was a league that reached out to me, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna go out there to St. Paul and, um, and battle out there in April, you know what I mean? That's on a lower league, but still it's, a, it's, it's dope to me because it's Minnesota, so you know what I mean? I got that coming up, we're working on the head ice thing. Uh, me, and, me and ARP, we, we good, we talking. So we've been working on something, trying to get That's maybe, good, yeah, trying to get man. maybe me versus yeah. show off or somebody like that. So we'll see, man. I want to do something that just makes sense. Now, you battled gyms. Yeah. Years, three years mm -hmm. ago. I was, I was, that was Jim's breakout battle. I was talking to him, and I said both of y'all are in a different place right now. Uh-huh. And I know a lot of people don't like to do remakes. <coughs> I'd love to see y'all two now. You know what? I, I think the only <laughs> I think the only rematch I ever contemplated doing was with Big K, mm. uh, O Red, and now that you say it, that's. Like Jim's would be a fun rematch because yeah. he's grown a lot since a lot. I battled him, yeah. and I thought I whipped his ass that day. And but 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 it was a good it. ass whipping. Like he learned from it. He <laughs> right, changed right. from that. Like he I, and I didn't. 
See, it's funny because I didn't respect his mannerisms and the way he carried himself that day. I thought he was doing a lot of fuck shit in the battle that was frustrating me. And I'm like, that's just the youth in him. He's This is new to him. He don't know how to keep his composure. I've been there before. You know what I mean? And he's learned from that. You know, we talked after the battle. He's somebody that I fuck with. I respect his pen game. So I'd definitely be interested in doing something like that with Jim's man because he's a character. I stop being dirty. I think that shit cracks me the fuck up, man. So I fucks with Jim's man. Um, you know, we'll see what's up, man. I'm not, I'm not against doing anything if it makes sense. So, right, because you're not pressed, and that's that's good to hear too. Like, like you said, man, you have a life. It's not about the money. Yeah, you got money. yeah. I'm a so full-time you father. You know what I'm saying? I have my daughter 28 days out of the month. You know what I mean? Single father. So, you know, at the end of the day, I think that the battle rap when I was in high school, because that's when I was getting popping off of it. When I was in high school. Um, Battle rap was something that I tried to prioritize. It's not something that I try to prioritize. I understand the fans are gonna be here. It's gonna go on whether Rosenberg battles or not. So I'm just trying to, from now on, make sure when I show up, I give them the best Rosenberg. Cause we know, who knows how long this shit gonna stay, gonna stick around. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's just basically where I'm at with it, man. You know, I love the sport, I love the game, but you know, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't something that I need to do anymore. Frozen Bird. You already know what it is, man. 15 yeah. minutes of fame. Fucking Frozen Bird. Frozen Bird. Salute a nigga for our shooting, nigga. Mr. Yo, I take this walk with me. Mr. Dooney Boom. Mr. Pistol Vania. All that good shit, man. You already know what it is. 15 minutes.